On the originally smooth track, a row of buttons suddenly appeared. Under the train wheel's pressure, the buttons are repeatedly pressed and rebound. Even the workers can't resist stepping on them. It's called a deceleration top. Its main function is to decelerate the carriage. Installed at points where carriages are recombined, each one follows a specific route and is coupled with different locomotives. Since carriages lack brakes, solutions had to be found on the tracks. Thus, the deceleration top was invented, comprising a sliding oil cylinder and a casing. It provides a reverse force to the wheels. Upon being rolled over, though the force is small, its cumulative effect gradually slows the carriage, finally stopping it. That's also why workers test its resilience by stepping on it, not just for fun, but to check its rebound ability. Imagine if one were to get stuck. If it couldn't compress, the repercussions would be dire. Moreover, besides lacking brakes, the carriages also lack power and require external force to move. Hence, the conveyor was invented, a yellow metal plate mounted inside the track, running beneath the unpowered carriages. Its own wheels propel the carriage until a deceleration top assists in braking, effectively completing the coupling process. Finally, isn't this quite remarkable?